All right, today I haven't fished the river in a couple of months, so that's what I'm gonna do today. And I'm also gonna use some a bait that I haven't used in a couple of months. Uh, my paddle tail, uh, paddle sticks, paddle worms, flop flippers, flappers, whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna use those. I'm only working with one rod today. Uh, now I, I've fished this spot a lot and I fished all the way down from south of here, but I've never fished north of this point. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna fish right this spot for a little bit and then I'm gonna walk north. Yeah, the water level's definitely way up because I used to be able to walk out to the end of this thing and now I can, I'm about 10 feet back from the end of it. I mean, it's not very deep, but the current gets strong out that way, so. Probably I wasn't even recording, but anyway, a bunch of kids were just throwing rocks at me, but they must have stirred up the fish, because here's a funky looking little bass. The snout is like really short on it. It's weird. So I'm going to take a picture of this. You got this on the paddle tail. I don't like the flash being on, but it works. Anyway, here we go. Still a healthy looking fish other than the snout being sh short like that. I'm gonna scare these damn kids. I don't think they were trying to throw rocks at me. I just, I guess they didn't see me, but they came really close to hitting me. Handful of trails and stuff, clearings. Down here looks like a good spot to fish. Nice big open area, a lot of clear ground to stand. Oh, there we go. Got him that time. Little one. About the same as the last one. There we go. A little bit better. Healthier looking for sure. <clears throat> Alright, that's two fish already. I actually got one on film that time, on video. I don't like saying on film when it's digital. But yeah, two fish. Three fish, next cast. This one's not a very, they're all pretty small. This one's, this is a little quad. There we go. Nice little Guadalupe bass. All right, there's another little dam, kayak chute, whatever you want to call them, over here. Looks really good on both sides. I'm gonna try over here first. Oh, come on, dude. Oh yeah, that's a nice little 
point right here where I can stand and cast out in the open. Oh, there we go. No, it's another little one, but I'll take it. Hmm. Alright, let me break off the bar because he's hooked funny. And there we go, another little quad. I knew it would pay off standing on this point, bringing it towards me. There we go. That's a better one. Oh, he slipped off right at the end. That's what I get for breaking off the barb. That was the biggest fish of the day by far. And he got right off. It's a problem with catch and release. Sometimes you gotta break off the barb to risk, or so you don't risk hurting the fish. And that happens. Right, well, I just, just lost the biggest fish of the day which was really, really a solid, solid, there was a solid bite, but I had a solid, solid fish on a minute ago. Slipped right off. And then, right now when I'm talking about it, I got another bite. So, that pulled it right off the bait, right off the hook. I'm pretty sure it's too dark to see anything for the GoPro, but, I'm going to record this part anyway. Alright, well, I'm out. Caught four fish, I think. And I missed, had one slip off. And I missed a handful of bites. And the one that slipped off was, of course, the biggest. And it slipped off because I broke off the barb. So... There you go. But that's all right. It's not like I was fishing a tournament or something. Thanks for watching. See you next time.